Hello again, agents. The containment methods of the SCP Foundation are amongst the most criticized aspects by the Coalition. The anomaly we will see today demonstrates the selfishness and cruelty that the Foundation is capable of, even towards their own personnel. Before we begin, I must warn you that the record deals with raw and desperate situations of claustrophobia and powerlessness. Item number SCP-6502 Containment Class Esoteric Secondary Class Tomil Disruption Class 2 Balam Risk Class 2 Caution Special Containment Procedures To maximize available space, persons interred within the grounds of SCP-6502 must be alive at the time of their burial. New interments must be approved by the lead researcher assigned to the project, currently Dr. Robert Campbell. Communications and listening devices have been installed throughout the first several feet of SCP-6502 topsoil. Staff should maintain regular communication with inter subjects until such a time as subjects' physiology no longer allows it. Subjects have proven more cooperative if informed that the Foundation is seeking a way to free them from SCP-6502 but is unable to do so at the present. This story should be maintained by all staff when speaking to the interred. Standard measures are permitted to ensure the comfort of buried subjects. However, as long-term comfort is unlikely to be achieved, unreasonable expenses will be denied by the Office of Procurement. Description SCP-6502 is Harwick Cemetery, located in Waverly Falls, Massachusetts. For unknown reasons, Humans buried alive within the cemetery are unable to die. While subjects' body undergo the typical decomposition process, their mental faculties and higher intelligence remain intact, even past the point of total bodily decay, as long as they are interred. This effect applies only to those buried alive. Corpses buried in the cemetery show no further signs of life. Additionally, the anomaly only impacts those buried in a traditional coffin and fully covered over at least 6 feet of natural soil from the cemetery grounds. Attempts to construct subterranean facilities benefiting from SCP-6502's preservation defects have failed, as have attempts to preserve soldiers via internment in above-ground mausoleums. Since 2009, the Foundation has used Harwick Cemetery as a medical facility for the preservation of high-value staff and prisoners. There are currently 46 individuals in their life within the anomalies grounds, including 31 former Foundation staff members, 9 members of groups of interest, and 6 civilians found buried within the cemetery prior to Foundation acquisition. Discovery The Foundation contained SCP-6502 after reports of unexplained sounds and vibrations drew an agent's attention in 1994. Multiple individuals affected by the anomaly were later discovered, the oldest of whom had been buried in a family plot since 19 of April 1951. Further investigation of an unknown lies coroner had been practicing in the nearby city of Waverly Falls since the early 1950s, resulting in several inadvertent live burials throughout the 20th century. Addendum Sample Case Forward Dr. Ava Bradley, a Foundation memeticist and expert containment specialist, was stricken with a lethal infohazardous infection on the 9th of September 2018. As Dr. Bradley's death would break containment protocols for multiple high-risk objects, her body was interred within SCP-6502. Interactions between Foundation staff and Dr. Bradley, now designated SCP-6502-46, are allowed below for educational purposes. 9 of September, 2018, 1931 hours. Begin, Log. Dr. Bradley, can you hear me? Robert? Yes, that's right. How do you feel? I... where am I? You're being held in a specialized medical facility until we can find a treatment for your condition. What kind of facility? Don't worry about that. Everything is going to... Robert, where am I? What have you done? Why can't I move my body at all? Ava, 
please listen to me. It's spread if you don't worry about this for the time being. We have a staff of researchers working around the clock to fix- Robert Campbell, I am your superior, and you will tell me where I am. You're in a safe place. That's all I can say for now. This is Harwick, isn't it? Oh, God. It's only a temporary measure. Get me out of here, Robert. Get me out of this box. Please, you have to get me out. Ava, we are doing everything we can. As soon as we can make sure you'll survive, we'll have you to go up and... You won't find a cure. We would know it. I worked for 12 years on it and everything failed. Uh, I'm sorry, Ava. Get me out! Please! Please, please! I can't move. I can't. Conversation ends. SCP-6502-46 can be heard sobbing quietly from within SCP-6502. End law. Afterward, SCP-6502-46 talked to itself intermittently for a period of seven hours after this interaction interspersed with further pleas for release. At the direction of Site Command, Dr. Campbell did not reply. 14 of September, 2018, 11.02 hours. Begin, Log. I know you want answers, Robert. You've always been curious. I've seen your search logs. I can tell you everything. Just get me out. We're working on figuring out how to protect you, Ava. You have to bear with us. We've been over this. Bull! Bull! You overbearing, weak little... I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I've always admired you, Robert. You're dedicated, compassionate. We need more people like you. Please, just let me go. I know you want to help me. Anything you want. Anything. You hear me? I'll promote you. I'll recommend you to the O5s. I'll give you full access to... Please. Help me. End low. 20th of September, 2018. 22 20 hours. The key in low. Subterranean microphones capture repeat clawing and scratching noises from SCP-6502-46 coughing. SCP-6502-46 moans softly. Please, anyone. My hands. My hands. Scratching continues for several more hours, then falls silent. It does not resume again. End low. 28th of September. 2018. 03.50 hours. Beginning, love. When I was a kid, we took vacations to the seaside every summer. I remember the beach there vividly. It was near Portland, about an hour south. The city was sunny, and the air was clean, with just a smidgen of a beat to it, even in July. We'd spend hours outdoors, nothing but the water, and the sky, and the sand, on and on, forever. Once, on one of those trips, I swam out much deeper than I was supposed to go. There was just darkness all around me, and my feet couldn't touch. I screamed for help, and my dad heard me from the shore. He swam so fast all the way out to me. I snuggled up into his arms while he carried me back. That night, my mom made bulgogi and rice and the perfect fried eggs with oyster sauce and fresh bok choy. It's been my favorite ever since. Tastes like home. I don't remember what breathing feels like. And low. 9 of February, 2019. 7, 16 hours. Begin low. Dr. Bradley? Ava, we need to talk to you about one of your projects. Can you hear me? David? Referring to Dr. David Bradley, SCP-6502-46 husband, 
of 23 years. The sea is as of the 11th of June, 2002. Ava, it's Robert Campbell. David is in here now. David, please. It's so dark. Ava, I need to tell you about... I can't see. Please, try to focus. David? I can't think. I can't feel anything. Where am I? Dr. Campbell is advised to wait for a more lucid interaction with SCP-6502-46. The conversation is terminated. Who's there? David? Are you still there? I can't see you. I can't... I can't see... And low. 12th of May, 2019. 1.16 hours. Begin low. The coffin is collapsing. Box. SCP-6502-46 cries continuously for the next 36 hours. And low. The audacity of the SCP Foundation is beyond words. It is precisely because of the indiscriminate, selfish and inhumane use of anomalies that the GOC seeks to destroy them as soon as possible. Sites like this must be eradicated as soon as they're discovered, and their property is stopped at all costs. The horrible situation that the victims of SCP-6502 are subject has been reduced to a simple containment method by the maniacs of the SCP Foundation. A constant nightmare kept alive by the leaders of the Foundation, who are the real monsters in this century. Help us reveal more secrets of the SCP Foundation by suggesting anomalies in the comment box below. I am Virostris Anonymo. We are the GOC, and you have been informed.